Nmap is a powerful open source network scanning tool used for cybersecurity, auditing, and network discovery. It helps administrators and cybersecurity professionals identify what devices and services are present on a network. You can easily use Nmap for tasks such as vulnerability scanning, host and operating system detection, port scanning, etc. Let's quickly see how you can use Nmap to scan your network for potential security vulnerabilities. So I have uh, smartphones, MacBook Pros, uh, Windows servers, a bunch of things, Linux boxes as well. So this is just like uh, a representation of that. And on one of my VMs, I have Nmap installed and running. So let's just go to the terminal of that VM. So that's this VM. So let's check first. First thing is to check if Nmap is installed. You can do that by using Nmap-V. Hit enter. You can see starting Nmap and the version I've got is 7.92. So if in, in case you don't have Nmap installed, you can just install using either DNF install or apt-get. It depends on what operating system or what Linux OS you're using. For Kali Linux, it should be pre-installed. Either way, you can easily install Mmap. So let's figure out what's our IP address of the network. Although I, it's my home network, and I already know what the subnet mask is, but let's assume you do not have an idea of what the subnet is, the network is. So you can just do ifconfig to see what your IP address is, and that will tell you what the network subnet mask is in this case 255.255.0 which is slash 24 so any if we want to scan the whole network we can use slash 24 or a bunch of ips that are on this network that's that's good that's okay so let me clear my screen and since we now know the network the ip address if you run nmap with no flag so if i just say nmap with no flag at all uh, you can see the ports and their states. So what I mean is we can specify an, an IP address on that network, on my home network, which, for example, one into one zero zero dot thirteen. For instance, if I hit enter, it's going to start Nmap and tell you if that host is up or down. So in this case, in this case, we have zero hosts up. It means that host is down that way we can either let me say change the host so i'm using 16 for instance let's see what happens so 192.168.0. so the the probe for 16 the mmap scan for 16 which is here and map 192.168.0.16 uh, came back with uh, the out so the scan for grid arc one better that's the host name so you see we provided only the ip address but it returned the host name as well and then the states of the ports so i've got 22 which is ssh it's open 443 1990 tcp it's uh, that's a closed port so without any any uh, flag just nmap ip address would return the, the state so if you run nmap with no flag that's what you get so you can actually scan a range of IP addresses. So for instance, we can do Nmap with no flag at all and say 192.168.0 starting from .0.2 to 0.8 for instance. So if I hit enter, that should scan that range that's 192.168.0.2 to 192.0.8 assuming the hosts are up so it's going to return the status yes so we have uh, the servers that are within this range so there is uh, nmap, uh, nmap scan return uh, report for this this one of my uh, macbook pros and if you come down this is my windows uh, desktop where some of my vms are running if you come down there's another 
suppose this is my Amazon device, uh, the Fire TV device, and then there's another one which is uh, this MacBook Pro, actually the one I'm using for this uh, recording. So essentially that's what you get. You can, you can actually exclude an IP address. So let's say we want to exclude uh, 0 0.6. So if, I, if we do this, if I'm scanning this range and I want to exclude I want to exclude 192.168.0.6. Hit enter. That should give us the results, the output without uh, this specific IP address, 192.168.0.6. So if you're trying to exclude any given IP from your scan, essentially. So let's see, that shouldn't take too long. Yes, and then if we scroll, you see it jumps from, uh, okay, zero, four five that's dot five and six is not included so let's start using some some flags so to scan for specific ports right so you can scan for specific ports eg ssh so doing that we can say mmap i'm specifying the port i want to scan port 22 on this host say for instance one nine one six eight dot zero dot sixteen I want to see if that port is. So you can see the port, the status of the port on this device, on this server, the SSH port, the status says it's open. And if you don't know the port number for whatever reason, you can actually use the name of the service. So search with SSH and you get, you can do that with FTP or any other service, you know, any, any common, service that that uh, you you want to check use operating system enumeration so to find out the os that's running on the particular server let me clear my screen and do nmap so operating with os enumeration that would be dash o capital o so nmap dash o i need to specify the ip address so i want to check for 192.168.0 dot 16 another server the same i think same server that I, we just checked now so i'm scanning this to see what os is actually running on this server because we've checked it's up we know the host name already good so report scan for that's the host name of this server and then these are the ports and the estates that are open so if you scroll down you see mac address and then the interface that it's using to connect to this network. And then if you scroll down, you can see uh, aggressive get OS guesses. This is exactly true. Uh, Linux 5.0, that's the kernel version. That's what you get. So Linux 5, that's what I am running on that particular server. So you can do a ping, which is a ping scan, which is essentially different from a port scan for devices, just to know if they are up. So for example, let me clear my screen. And what I mean is ping. So we're doing a ping, a scan, just ping. And then the IP address we want is the whole, the entire subnet. So, so far I have been scanning, I have been targeting specific hosts but this time we're, we're going to just, you know, do a ping scan of the entire network, my home network to see what devices are up there. So if I hit enter, yep, this shouldn't take long because it's just trying to say who it's up and what's down. So you can see some of the devices that I have. These are all the devices that are up. The summary anyways, uh, it's, it's checked slash 24 and then scan all these IP addresses, but then it found nine hosts that are up on my home network. So that way, you know, the, the hosts that you want to target, for example, to check for that. These are the host name of some, some of the devices that I have in my home network. So a ping scan would give you that. And then you can also do, you can use service version identification to detect the services that are running, including their versions. So we can just say nmap, right? nmap, so service 
version identification. So let's say we want to check what's, what are the versions of the services that are running on this particular server, 192.168.0.4. So it's going to check uh, the versions of any services that are running. So yes, here we, we have it. So uh, service, we have uh, SSH, MSRPC, Microsoft DS. Yes. So, so you just get the version. So if you come down here, SSH for Windows, because this is actually a Windows box. Uh, you can see uh, it's a desktop that I have connected to my home network as well. Then the operating systems is uh, Windows. It tells you what OS, what the ports are, which ones are open, what the vulnerabilities are. Another option you have in terms of scanning is to use the script flag. So using a pre-written script or your custom script. So for instance, you can say nmap, then you use the script, uh, script flag. Then this vulnerable script is an inbuilt script, as in it's pre-written. This is not my script, but you can feed your script to that. And let's try and see and run this. It's essentially going to check what vulnerabilities you have but you can explore this further by supplying a custom written script to check your targets. So this can be done on a subnet, uh, on a particular network or on a host. So I'm running this on this machine that we just checked the version, the service version on, which we already know that it's a Windows box. And these are the ports, some of the ports that are open. So this is running. Let's see. Should take just a few seconds. But essentially, it's trying to run this one script. Yes. And then we have something. So uh, you can see it tried. It checks. Yeah, these are the ports that are filtered. These are the sets of the ports. We've seen this information before. But this is what's new. So host script results. So it, these are the scripts that tried to run but did not succeed in terms of uh, negotiating a connection. SMB should be Samba. So could not negotiate a connection, so it failed. Essentially, you can write your own script to check all of these. And then finally, the you can use all flag options. So what I mean by all flag is just say nmap dash A dash capital A, and then you specify an IP address. So that would give you a lot more information, maybe 192.168.0.4. Let's just use the same machine. So that should hopefully return, you know, a lot more information, just everything it can get from that OS. This would, this would usually take a bit longer because you're probing, you're doing OS fingerprinting, you're doing uh, version checking of you're checking the versions of services the states of ports that are, are available yep and then we've got something so we have a lot of information a lot so you can see let's yeah so this is where we run the command nmap a on this particular server it started nmap and then started giving some uh, ssh host key as well we have that uh, RDP, NCLM info. So I have the target name. This is the host name, which it's uh, recognized by this scan. And then the time, system time. You know, uh, there's there's a bunch of information. SSL date. You know, from the scanner time. You have a lot of information that you can, you know, extract from this scan using the dash all option so that is it essentially nmap is actually a powerful tool you can use for you know scanning network scanning you can check what vulnerabilities are on your uh, infrastructure the, the entire organization you can scan and see what's what hosts are up what ports are open if you're you know vulnerable to any cyber attack stuff like that and then you can explore further. Of course, there are many things that you can do with MMAP that I did not cover in this video. But this just to get you started, more like uh, an introduction, just just so 
you see some of the things a map can do for you. I would like to thank you for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell for similar content. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.